All We're right. here with PewDiePie. Ooh. Say hello, PewDiePie. Yeah, PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> it's PewDiePie. Wow, welcome to the show. It didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Whatever, dude. It's After right. this it, game, it's so. I like the color. I, I remember in X Five, you had to like you could do like up a nine times. Yeah, it was like up twice. down three seven nine up two. Nine and five. then you Should we watch X's this plot? ultimate armor. Sure. All we're gonna narrate it. Zero is having a dream inside capsule. He gets All of a sudden, he has his, his Wily in front of him. He has no idea who Wily in front of him. Uh, I think it's so whack how it's, it's Dr. He's, Wily. He says, you are meant to do it bad. He says, no, not this. Ah. Yes, <laughs> I was about to say. What? The diaper? He's wearing a diaper. Oh, yeah, and boobs. My head hurts! Dude, I bet he's on Adderall. Adderall. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, yeah, there's blood on my hand. There's gore, dude. The gore's on a. This is rated A yeah. for adults. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a for action, adult a only. A for it. He's like, oh, I just woke up from a nap. That was hot. Did you know Zero is the only Reploid and that's not a Reploid? I did. Now. Because he's not based off of X's design. All Reploid. Dude, I love this song so much. <laughs> Nobody's so based off X's design, except for X. No, okay, so. X was Dr. Kane. Dr. Kane found X. And he's like. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> what? Insta's here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He wrote. He wrote. Wow. So pop in and hear someone moaning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Ed. <laughs> we were narrating this. We were narrating. Hat, hit, hit, hat, hat. It's Magma Dragoon. Hey, I really... always thought when you go through, when you dash. Magma Dragoon. Magma Gurjoon, you mean to say. Don't make fun of Jewish people. Dude, he's like one of the coolest. Oh members. my god, it's one in the morning for answer. Oh, my answer, it's one in the morning, gosh. Oh, wait, no, it's Friday, though, so he doesn't need to worry about that crap. Oh it's, yeah! It's oh, Friday! Yeah. Yeah. Insta's here, we doing it! It's Friday! Friday! Friday. Gotta get down on Friday! Right, I'm gonna, I'm Why am stop. I related to retards? You are the retard, we just didn't tell was you. It th there was one of the I episodes. knew it. Oh, it was Warhawk Wednesdays, where me and Matthew sing the 39 cent burger song. Yeah. And I was like, hey, why am I not getting more Alright, check this out. Because <laughs> <laughs> of stupid crap like this. Uh, hey. <laughs> Hey, listen. Listen. Linda. Listen. Stop. Linda. Uh, Dude, so much crap is just popping out for like no reason. This is, is nothing this compared to Jersey X6. Shore? All right, here it goes. Bam. All right, we get the we get this. We get this. What was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something? Yeah. So yeah. this is Frankie. That was suggestion. that's an X2 reference right there. What? This the closing in walls. Like that's that reminds me of X2. You know what her name is, Matthew? Aaliyah. Aaliyah. No, that's Iris. Yeah, oh, yeah, is I it the girl, that. what am I fighting for? Uh, no, Zero says that. Yeah. No, Zero says, what am I fighting for? But Iris is so Doesn't she die? cool. <laughs> Did you guys know that we think space might be a circle, dude? Dude. And if, <laughs> dude. dude. <laughs> you just like, I'm h 3 Okay, Insta, the fact that you're here right now, let me just warn you. Frankie's going to get into a lot of existential talk. Existential. He's no. Gonna, Mega Man existential floor. And then we, f we shot a photon in it. And we shot that dude, photon. Dude, the photons defy three-dimensional existence. Photons exist on a four-dimensional plane. They are in every possible reality at the same exact time because time doesn't apply to photons in the same way that time applies to human beings or any other three-dimensional object that isn't moving at the what speed the of light. What the frick is he talking about? He's hey, zero. Dude, it's the crimson Come back to the base. We're, we're there. <laughs> One in three people are retards. Oh, uh, hey, hey, don't call me Matt. There's only, <laughs> there's only one. There's only one. Th that's the part that that's the part that upset Matthew. Oh my God, you you calling Chris and Frankie retards, but you said Matt. Yeah, the balloon was heavy. With I am a. named with one T. Thank you. Mm. People were talking, but we couldn't hear them. So and he spelled no Frankie audio? Right. Spelled Frankie wrong. There's audio happening, but I'm doing a better job of it. Look at my hand, clench. Look at my mustache, and the metal it's made of. Here's the Waluigi stash. Holy crap, the audio for the X game, X4 game right now is Omega Quiet, but I can fix that in post-production. You want me to turn it up? No, turning it up on the TV won't fix no, it. I got it I got, on the PC. I can just, I can just, we take turns narrating it. You go ahead. 
We gotta do this. Check out my pecs. They're in the shape of a V. <laughs> Look at my fists. I organized you guys by color. Someone play the Russian anthem, please. Hello, my beard is red. It's the crimson chin. The chins and cream, you mean? Shut up. Look at his nose. So square. So yeah. great. Who designed this guy's face, dude? It's good. Japan. It's the nice. same exact camera shot from before. Oh, yeah, it is. I didn't even notice. It's literally reused. What low you, production it's value? It's reused? Who is this guy? This is a Sigmund. Are you kidding me? You don't no, know this, who this is, is? This is. I know who this is. Yeah, who was that other dude? The Hit other it. guy was Colonel General. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that his actual name? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel General Sergeant. Colonel General Sigmund Sergeant. back Sergeant. again. That's a Colonel General Sergeant officer to you. Robots run best on coal, Donald Trump said. I love this song too. Okay, she's like, I'm gonna explain every mission and you're not gonna read a single one. Alright, ready? Let's do this. This, this one's a jungle. That, that actually it's just ruffles this crap, dude. <laughs> There's a space peacock. This is a bird. This is a volcan with a dragon. Magma Dragoon, I wish he wasn't a, a mushroom. Don't get too high. A lion, he's cool. And then a walrus. We're gonna do the walrus first. I barely heard myself speak when you were shaking the soda. <laughs> because so that, up against the mic. That's the porpoise. <laughs> that was Matthew shaking his freaking stomach near the mic. Dude, is that what the good stuff have sounds you, have like? You ever, have you ever drank something so much and then like you're laying down and then you wiggle your stomach and you can hear it sloshing around inside yeah, yes, your stomach? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's happened to me once and I was like, oh. <laughs> Ready. Oh, Ensor says, speaking of Trump, I see they attacked Syria. Yeah, I heard about that. World War Three, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. And we'll get Matthew recruited on the freaking yeah. enlistment list. Yeah, you need the spider list. to get up there. I forgot about that. Yeah! Do you think yeah! there was a draft? Yeah! The, um, the draft is illegal. Is it illegal? The, 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 you cannot do the draft anymore. Oh, what? Wait, when did that happen? After World War II. Or either World I thought War II. it was NOM. Oh, it was NOM. Yeah, you're right. It is NOM. Well, because I remember during during NOM, people started, like, protesters of, Massive of NOM started protests. to burn their their draft papers, like, in public squares. They would all converge there and then burn their papers in mass. And hey, of course, that's a heart. Illegal. Oh, we need the fire thing to get that heart. Answer says, yes. Zero says, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Plus, huh. I, realistically speaking, in military power, like the, the U.S. has uh, enough soldiers. Not uh, numbers are, do not mean everything. The U.S. is not the most manned military, but it is definitely the most advanced. So you can't really just. Eh. I hear that I do not, they do not identify as human anymore because I'm sick of and talking plus, about their issues. Well, if we're talking about the U.K. and France and Russia. The rest of NATO is going to get involved, if, if anything. So freaking, I love NATO, dude. NATO, NATO uh, pretzels. I, I go down to the mall. You freaking suck. And I will go down to the pretzel, Wetzel's pretzels, and I get the NATO, the <laughs> NATO pretzel. Anyway. And when I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm like NATO out. When I throw the NATOs, do you even what... know what freaking NATO is? Yes, I know what NATO is. Okay, good. What does it stand for? National, National International Wrong. Defense <laughs> National Wrong. International Organization <laughs> of when pe when butter snaps appear peaches oh oh what was I doing? dead dude you suck when butter snaps Answer appear says, peaches yeah, China I don't probably, agree with I don't agree with let that me at read all. it so that we can because people can't read these messages China is probably the most advanced and they have the numbers I don't agree with that advanced says statement. Answer 2018. The, the, the advanced statement, I don't agree with. The numbers is a very obvious, Well, though. you know what? Sam Fisher had a mission where he had to infiltrate China, and they were advanced, dude. Do you know how hard it is to infiltrate the United States? I mean, Sam Fisher does it all the time, man. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's kind of familiar with all of it. He knows it. Also, probably because he's a fictional character, but what do I know? Uh, no, dude, he's real. Michael Ironside. If Michael Ironside would hit the Whee! gym, dude, and, like, he got fit and could, like, actually do one pull-up... That's Sam Fisher for real, dude. But let's talk about science instead. Oh, yeah. Let's Let me ask that. you, Enster. <laughs> how long do you think the Chinese infrastructure could last against the United States infrastructure? Who? Oh, I'm getting freaking rocked on, not dude. Not very long is my question. Or my, my point. That thing's from X2. It is? And yeah. also, uh, Frost Penguin or whatever, if the freak is in that ice cube right there. Oh, I'm getting oh, screwed. Oh, that, that is chill penguin. Chill penguin. Yeah, what you, the heck? You never noticed that? No. no. Hey. That 
That's pretty cool. That's awesome. But the, the thing is, the United States military spending budget is just, like, so ridiculous that they can do whatever they want with whatever they have. Because we make up money, because money's not real. And, th like, the Chinese have numbers, oh, God. but it's, it's a matter of how effective are those numbers. You can't just say, like, I have numbers, so I win. Do you win. think I'll win? Uh, it's gonna be a close <laughs> fight, dude. Dude. Uh-oh. No, dude. We're good. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Stop, dude. Mm. Yeah, that's right, girl. That's right, that's right. That's Enster right. says, and... Most of the military might of the U.S. was made in China, lol. Yeah, isn't everything manufactured overseas anyways? Yeah, I was. Everything? I was definitely manufactured overseas. I mean, overseas. I'm, I'm not sure about everything, but of course, like... The pieces to our tanks, the pieces to our choppers. So that means they have the button to turn it off, obviously. I'm sorry, but then we also have <laughs> a button to turn it <laughs> off. That, that's not a thing. If it was a drone, okay, maybe, but... Like, th then, uh, what's there? There's a game where all the drones get taken over. Like, Amer America's entire military gets converted to drones, and then all of a sudden the enemy gets control of the controller to the drones. I think that's Black Ops 2. I never, I never finished. I never played that campaign. Yeah, I think that's Black Ops' 2 campaign, is that all these drones get taken over by the bad guy, and now, oh no, America's in peril now. But, I mean, even though our, our peace, our tools were developed in China, I don't think that they have current the events. Switch. Current events is not my strong point. Tell me, talk to me about World War II, please. What about the Mesopotamians and their ancient religion? I'll talk to you about ancient Rome. How about the Mesopotamians and their ancient religion? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, when the Mesopotamians ran out of uh, mayonnaise, what did they like, do? They were like, wow, we gotta get a Mesopotamia. <laughs> Dude, I hate, I hate you. That was I'm... a good joke, and you guys don't know it. The cradle of civilization. <laughs> Why Which... don't I get what, what What rivers were, was it in between? Um, The Fertile Crescent. No! <laughs> I don't know. The Fertile Crescent? <laughs> that's, that's what it's it was. The Tigris called. and Euphrates rivers. Eucadian? The freaking Eucadian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Frankie knows what it is. Yeah, I'm surprised Frankie. I know he just probably doesn't know what that is. You freaking poser. Why are you calling me so weak? Check it out. I'm gonna hit the my right joke. angle and I'm gonna punch the door. <laughs> Bam! The answer punch says, it. LOL, so weak. <laughs> Guys, we're so funny. I'm hilarious, Matthew. <laughs> you know what they call it. Look at my resume. <laughs> I love the way he walks in. He's like, yeah, yeah he's so good. Yeah, yeah. I'm he's the like Rock, the Dwayne Johnson. Of flame mammoth. He was clearly designed after Rock, the Rock, Dwayne Johnson. The Rock, yeah. And look at the way he freaking walks, dude. He's this lumbering oh, buff I'm gonna football player. I'm wreck this guy soon. By the way, the dash cancel won't work if you don't do it fast enough, Frankie. So. I'm literally doing it fast enough, but it doesn't work like it does in X5 in this game. Oh, really? It's no. different. Yeah, it's different. In X5, you could spam it and. Like, and, yeah, because they, have a, they have, have a damage shield there. Yeah. That's not cool. What a gay. What a dumbo. Look I at said that to my stepdad today. I was like, yeah, we're talking about how like this person doesn't like believe in in the gays. And Dwayne was like, we'll probably don't refer to them as the gays. The gays. <laughs> <laughs> how about you refer to them as people? I just watched Die Hard for the first time. I never know what that is. With Bruce Willis. Mm. Me and Chelsea watched Die Hard, and I was like, dang. Because I, I've been watching a lot of videos about people that are talking about, like, how action movies used to be good, and why Die Hard is so good today. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch Die Hard. It's over. Look at those football shoulder pads. On oh, there. my football shoulder pads. She's in the cord with Okay, the dude. Cord. How does that go? I don't know. Okay, dude. All, All right, listen. Linda? All of you guys oh. need to shut the F up. Wait, wait, let's pronounce this word. How you lose to it is Susan? 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 Hewlett Susan? Hewlett Susan? Hewlett Susan? Hewlett Susan out of the kitchen? Who read Susan out of the kitchen? Oh, that is dark. Uh, answer says yeah. the whole Die Hard series is awesome. Campy at times, but I like them. Mm -hmm. I, I've watched Live Free or Die Hard, and that was it. And then I went back and watched Die Hard One just now. Dude. But I like the cop, the black cop from the Steve Urkel show. Was that Family Matters? The dad. What? Do you know who he is? That big chubby black guy. Carl. Yeah, Carl. He's the cop in Die Hard. Uh. 
Oh, I love this song. Carl, Carl of Duty Black Cops. <laughs> Carl of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a, everyone always makes fun of Black Ops by calling it Black Cops, and it's a picture of him from Die Hard. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, Enzo says, LOL, Jesus Christ, you guys. He's also a cop Wait, with Family Matters. Hold on a second. Yeah, no, I know, that's funny. And then he says, Enzo says, yes. That's not right. Look at that rainbow, though. That's so, like, why is it just popping in the and out? The gaze. This is actually a virtual reality world, and they're not actually in existence. Are we Therefore, all... that rainbow is popping in and out, fakely. Enzo says... The gaze, spelled G A Y S, or the gaze, G A Z E. Maybe the gaze you're gazing upon your gaze. I think, if, okay, if you were a gay guy, Matthew, uh -huh. would you be offended if someone called you a gay? Dude, I literally wouldn't be offended about anything. If I, I was, if I had the same don't personality, care. <laughs> it's like I don't care about anything because I, I realize how unimportant we are. I mean, he kind of. I mean, I just have been called much worse things. Do you, so do I don't you guys? Care. Do you guys know who Bill Burr is? I know who Bill Wirtz is. I don't even know who that is, but... He's a YouTuber. Um, there's a comedian named Bill Burr, and he has a podcast, and I've been listening to his podcast a lot recently. And he, what he does is he reads these emails that people send in to him about relationship advice or scenarios that they're running into, and uh, <clears throat> there was one... <laughs> there was one where uh, this guy emailed in to Bill Burr saying that his girlfriend cries at least three times a week. Uh, okay. All right, <laughs> like for the stupidest reasons, the smallest things. Uh, I spilled a drink, or, or uh, I love you too much, and I'm scared I won't be a good wife to you. How does that make? And so sense? she would cry. All right, so so then, <laughs> Bill Bill Burr goes, my advice to you is next time she starts to cry, and goes, I just don't think I'm gonna be a good wife for you. And then and then he goes, just do this. I worry about that too. <laughs> and then start crying with her. <laughs> And that'll get her to stop crying. <laughs> Frankie the Philosopher. Yeah, answer says Frankie the Philosopher. Oh, I would I would say that if all of us, if out of all of us, the one who would become like most philosophical would probably be Frankie. Dude, I literally live in a constant state of existential dread all the time. The only way <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny, but it's fucking actually serious. <laughs> the only way that I can get to bed at night is if I, like, make sense of anything in my head in any way that I possibly can. Even if it's just, like, like a cop-out for the night. It's like, alright, well, that, I guess that's good for the night. I'll rethink this in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I used to worry about how I'm gonna eat a Lunchables every morning. <laughs> a Lunchables. I never cared for chocolate milk. I like strawberry milk. You like Although, can, how do you milk a strawberry? Oh. Dude, oh my god, I've been posting the funniest statuses on Facebook, and that's literally almost the status I posted recently. Do you remember the one I posted recently, Matthew? No, it's, I just remember that it got a couple of wow things. It was, uh, it said, um, it said, so how hard are we squeezing these almonds to get the milk out? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, what else did I post? Oh, I post hashtag bring shants back. What, what was what's that? Uh, pants like skinny jeans that you. Oh cut my to god, be I remember those. And then uh, <laughs> what else did I post recently? Oh yeah, I posted something because like my students at the gym started a game that I did not endorse or make up at all, even though it sounds like something I would make up. It's called stick it or lick it. <laughs> so basically, like the premise is, if you go for a rail pre or anything or like a jump or something, and you don't stick it, then you have to lick the object that you didn't stick. So, like, if you go for a rail, you have to lick the rail if you fucked up, basically. Okay. And it says, who the hell still uses Facebook? Uh, Isn't that a thing? Like, everyone's starting to, like, gravitate away from Facebook? Yeah, I feel like it. I, I, it's always taken me a while to switch platforms, though. Like, I was literally, like, the last of my friends on MySpace before I was like, alright, I gotta make the switch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, because I never actually made a MySpace. I missed that boat. And then I never actually made a Facebook. I have a dummy account on Facebook. You tell me that. You do? Yeah, and it's meant for like a, a forum, like a, a, a mod forum. Like you can log oh in. Oh god, I'm dead. It's over. Well, Frankie better get off of Facebook or else I'm gonna rock bottom him. It's time to move to Twitter where all the good robots are at. I'm actually on Twitter. You know yeah, what, man? So don't ever make fun of Twitter. You know what, dude? A girl buys it's Instagram and Twitter. A girl buys a vibrator and it's just some good fun. A guy She's buys a sex it? robot three thousand with with <laughs> lubrication and the <laughs> sperm bank so it doesn't drip out and he's a pervert. Hey, that's a good point, Frankie. Because 
There needs uh. to be more quality. Oh, another thing Bill Burr is very, like, hardcore advocating is that, like, you know, like, a lot of feminists are like, don't open the door for me, you know, I can do this on my own, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and then he says, feminism goes out of the window when it comes to, like, uh, like, like a tragedy, like when, uh, like the Titanic is sinking. It's always get the women and children out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, well, where was the feminism? Obviously, those were different times. But I mean, if like, let's say this building caught on fire, you'd be like, hey, get the women out. I'm, the only... I'm, a, I'm a girl. Let the... me out first. <laughs> it, it, it's just funny to hear him rant about these things. The only time I would ever pull that card, like if I was in a Titanic situation and I was going down, the only time I would scream feminism and save myself is if everyone had really short bangs and blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> I like blue hair. I think it looks good on Well, yeah, blue hair, but they have to also have the short bangs because then you know they're all about oppression. Oh my god. About oppression <laughs> that is not a generalization at all. Yeah, uh, are you kidding me, Matthew? Back no, me up here. What? He said that is not a generalization. Uh, that, was a, that was sarcastic. It is very generalistic oh. to say that all girls with blue hair and short bangs I'm freaking are on Tumblr? I can't. This is the hardest boss in the game. He's harder than Sigma. You want me to take this sweater. guy out? No, if this, yeah, one if more a woman has, a, has a, a, a color of hair that is not naturally uh, grown, it's, she's a Tumblr user. Answer says uh, two words Cambridge Analytica? Oh, God. I'm th I, what is that? I forgot. I is, that, is that a school? It's, it's, I know Cambridge is a school. Enster has stumped us. Inform us, Enster. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about, Enster? Cambridge Analytica. Is that like uh, the next Facebook? <laughs> Everyone get on my Analytica. <laughs> That's what I always say. Hey, girl, you want to jump on my Analytica? Stop. Uh, <laughs> stop can I penetrate stop. your Analytica? Can I penetrate your <laughs> <laughs> it's okay when he does it, Matthew, not when I do it. You know what? Listen here. I don't need your sass. <laughs> Come on. No, none of these double standards. Feminism's great. Listen, man. When you're like me, you hate everything about double standards. Oh, my gosh. We're going to go on a rant today, boys. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, God. To hit you with uh, some optimistic going... nihilism. Why can't we be sensitive? Men? We we're can be a... sensitive. No, we're, <laughs> men, we're not allowed to be sensitive. Answer says... Good, good God, people! Do you not get news there? We just don't care. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I used to look up political news every day. Dude, I freaking opted out of all that stuff. I can't take I, it anymore. I kind of backed down from it too, but uh, I'll, I'll check news outlets every once in a while. Like, cause I, I knew about Trump bombing Syria, or yeah, blowing up Syria, or dropping some missiles on Syria. I don't even know exactly what he did, but he said Evie Syria. Here you go. I mean, but haven't we already been destroying Syria for a while, or at war with Syria for a bit? Yeah. And now, uh, Russia released, like, a statement uh, saying... Okay. <laughs> what? I kinda... Oh, okay. He says, that is the corp that has been scrapping all Facebook data. Not only Facebook MSTU. Oh, you're, you're freaking dead, dude. <laughs> you're freaking dead! Yeah! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, stick says, your finger in his face. Answer <laughs> says, Facebook stuff, but your text messages, tour, phone calls, etc. Oh wait, yeah. Okay. Huh. They hired a corporation to do to, to Is do that all why that? they're in court? Is yeah, because that... the Senate called down uh, Zuckerberg. Is that why Zuckerberg? Dude, went that to was court? the Did you guys not watch that? That was the From H3? Thing. No no the like legit court hearing. It was nah, Facebook I Live. I watched I watched pretty much all of it and like they were asking the dumbest questions. Like they were literally like, um, so if I text someone on WhatsApp then is that going to tailor the ads given to somebody on Facebook? And Mark Zuckerberg's like, no, it will not. And they're like, it won't. And he's like, not at all. And then he was, then they're like, uh, then like you said, Facebook would always be free. And uh, yet here I see you um, running ads for for payment. And he's like, um, so is it still free? And he's like, it is free to use Facebook but we do run ads. And they're like, oh, okay, I understand. And they're just asking the dumbest yeah, questions. Yeah, there was a, H3 made a video making fun of Zuckerberg in Senate. Yeah. And a lot of it's like just edits of him going like, <laughs> and it's called the Zuck hiss. Because <laughs> he's always like, <laughs> I see a bunch of memes, it's like, give me the Zuck. It's like, uh, yeah. oh man. <clears throat> and it says, answer says, because no one in the Senate understands the internet. Not sure why they are questioning Zuckerberg. 
That's a good point. Yeah, it's like getting some sort of rookie to handle some sort of job that they're not familiar with that uh, whatsoever. Yeah, one lady was like, um, it's it's clear to us that Facebook collects 96 data points per what? person. And Zuckerberg's like, uh, I don't understand the question. And she's like, does Facebook collects 96 data points plus this? That equals <laughs> 60, like 100 and something data points. Is this true? And he's like, I have no idea what you're saying. Like, he was literally like, what are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get all the data points plus a bonus 10 data points for every five data points you purchase. And if you get the new DLC pack, the new data points pack, then you get even more data points. And if you get lucky in our loot boxes, Chris's favorite gem. If you if you spend all the, you know, a lot of companies actually are uh, reverting their loot box and microtransactions out of their games. Um, Star oh. Wars Battlefront Two was the first one to do it, I think. Oh, really? They did? Yeah, because like of all the backlash they were getting. But then there was another game that got rid of it, but uh, they did it too late. Oh, wait, wait. Matthew's picture here. Greetings, human. I am the one who is called Zach. Yeah, the way he behaves is very inhuman. Because he's freaking so intelligent, dude. That guy is too smart. <laughs> 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 the picture is creepy. Yeah. Yeah, Zuckerberg's <clears throat> way too intelligent for his own good. Answer says, Facebook that's installed on mobile devices was also grabbing all your texts and phone call history. Wow. I bet no one agreed to that. Uh, it's probably in there. It's that... probably deep buried into all that stupid contract that they always make you agree to. Uh, they, they could literally put anything they wanted in that thing and no one would catch it. Uh, you know, it's a really interesting thing. It, it, your Facebook can listen to you talk, okay? So, oh, yeah. if if you're talking about some kind of product... Uh-oh. Um, and I'm you're not scared. even on Facebook... Check this out, the check ads this out. that you're going to see on <gasps> Facebook are... Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. <gasps> I wish I could taunt. Well, okay, ads anyways, that you're going to see on Facebook are going to be related to what you were just talking about. Yeah. So, uh, they, yeah. That's a way for them to cater to their audience. But or to but you sign off on that. That's your fault. And then answer says, like, not just Facebook messages, actual SMS text messages. That is, that is weird. Like, that is... Well, what are they going to do with that, dude? I, what are they gonna do with that? Give you a good ad? Zuckerberg didn't want to give any power to the government. He never actually had that intention. And when they were like, "Do you uh, want to work with the government to uh, secure this?" and he was like, "I don't." He basically like in the politest way possible was like, "The government cannot get their hands on Facebook because you guys are corrupt as fuck." Uh -huh. Like that's basically what he said during it. And they were like, "We need you to agree to give us basically control of of Facebook." It's a yes or no question, and he's like, uh, "No, I will not." Did I, did I mess this up? And it says, quick, teabag him, lol. When you got that freaking epic downward thruster. Okay, wait. You can do this, I've done it before. There's, you're supposed to get the double jump for it, or the- Or yeah, it. or, there it is. There it is. There it is. Checking else. me out, look at my freaking health. Ladies. Healthy. Ladies, check me out, slay queen, slay. Slay it, queen. Literally, that's like my least favorite thing that anyone could ever say. Did you know that? I hate when people say that shit. It makes me want to blow something up. Have you ever watched uh, RuPaul's Drag Race? No. Do you know who RuPaul is? No. Okay, so RuPaul's a man. He's a he's a gay man who um, dresses in drag, and he's been doing it for so long that he's like the f most famous drag queen. Um, and uh, he's he's got a show called RuPaul's Drag Race, and it's like it's like America's Next Top Model kind of. But with people trying to dress in drag and stuff and be funny and whatnot. And that show would totally upset you. Why? <laughs> if you get mad at people going, slay queen, slay, that's all that show consists of. But I find it entertaining. Dude, I just can't, I don't know, uh, I don't know what it is about it. Just, it's just so, I don't know, dude. You can do it, Frankie. I'm a homophobic bigot. <laughs> so this, this woman posted something on Twitter. It's like... Eskimo is a slur. Anyone who thinks otherwise, I will gladly hop into your DMs and educate you on why it's considered so blah blah blah. Okay, so this dude is like literally just said it's it's in its linguistic origins. The word Eskimo comes from I can't pronounce that. Uh, a person who laces a snowshoe. Her response is you're white, which automatically makes your response irrelevant. Next. Yeah. Wow, dude. 
There's a lot of that happening, and it's very accepted in today's society. It's so weird how accepted it is in today's society. It makes no Oh, what? What? I can't believe that much. says, don't forget came Edna. Who's that? Edna from, uh, from Edna Mode. Incredibles? Edna Mode, yeah, the Incredibles. Edna Mode. Edna Mode. Oh, wait, did she say Slay Queen? Did she? I feel like she would have. She yeah. sounds like that. It was cool when she said it. She was it first. was cool when she said it because she's a short biznatch. Oh, girls. he predates RuPaul. I did not know that because Chelsea was the one that introduced me to RuPaul and she was this like, my last RuPaul's chance. everything. Like, And so I thought RuPaul was the origin point of that crap. Who's RuPaul? Uh, a really famous drag queen. Like, way more fam famous than like Tyra Banks and all that crap. Oh, why, like, why are you talking about drag queens? Because Frankie hates it when people say Slay Queen and they say it's Slay Queen like a million times. <laughs> Yeah, there's like, a theory that my French teacher is a drag queen. It's really funny. I can tell you why I hate it. Actually, I know why. And it's because it's because it's always for something that doesn't matter. Like they, they just like make people feel good for something that's like Holy really crap, relevant. So bad this game, Frankie. Dude, I don't know why I'm looking the wrong way. It's not over yet. Here he is. Check it out. Shot through the heart, dude. Uh, answer says British drag queen slash comedian. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so they come to my last known position, and we have to continue. Yeah. Yeah, so good. Yeah, it's good. But, like, okay, so the thing that I was saying was that, um, was that that is generally used in, like, when people are, like, dressed in a way that is, like, okay, good job. Like, you put on clothes. Cool. You know what I mean? Like, people are, like, slay queen like you look so good right now and it's like oh you're wearing overalls with a white shirt and like big lens glasses cool you cut your bangs really short and you have blue hair cool slay queen tell me how you really feel <laughs> it's just like why is that an accomplishment dude freaking yeah. good job you spent some money on some clothes that only a certain demographic of people like so anyways answer give us a topic or something oh answer says and you have fish mouth lol What's fish mouth? Yeah, explain I don't fish know mouth. what that means. <laughs> Does that mean that I slur? <laughs> that means that you eat the fish. I talk like a fish mouth. I think he's talking about me because I was making fun of drag queens. I wasn't making fun of drag queens. I was just making fun Dude, of. You're such a fish mouth. I was making fun of when they say slay queen. Um, I, I, I sometimes when I use my s words, my s words, I pronounce them with a sharp as f whistle s. Like how? What's that guy from Family Guy? Herbert Bruce? No, the old man that likes uh, Chris. He, he, yeah. What's his name again? Herbert. Herbert? Is it Herbert? Yes. Herbert the Herbert. Herbert yeah. the Pervert. He he's uh. He, I I whistle my s's and I wish I didn't. Answer says mostly feminist social justice warriors. I guess that's what fish mouthing is or fish mouths are. And then he says, "LOL, Herbert." Yeah, it's Herbert. I go like sassafras. So fish mouth is when someone's a social this SJW. I guess so. M feminist SJW. Huh. Interesting. Okay. This dirty, dirty, dirty. You want me to freaking handle? This no, dude. I got this. Like if you remember old school YouTube comedy, I I don't remember that one or that one, but I remember the other two. Hey Ben. Hey Ben. What you got there, Ben? What you got there, Ben. So Matthew, how the ladies treating you? Answer um, says like yes. Crap. Herbert and his dog Jesse. Matthew's got two girlfriends at the same time, dude. What the freak are you talking about? Email Bill Burr your problems and he'll solve them for you, dude. I have zero women. <laughs> zero. I mean, that's a good answer. Dude, my game has been so weak lately. I haven't been laid since Korea 97, dude. Wow. That doesn't I, even I can't match believe it. the Korean. <laughs> like, uh, you mean to tell me you get no poontang? <laughs> not, not lately, dude. I can't believe this, man. Poontang. <laughs> I, That's something John uses. Uh, oh, does he? Yeah, he's like, dude, did you get the poont? <laughs> like, oh, That's man. actually something that The Rock would say. Like, uh, people would be like, talking to him, and he's like, so, you trying to give away your poontang pie? And be like, oh my god, The Rock, your sideburns are so long. <laughs> oh my god, The Rock. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my rock. How come he gets like eight of those? That's not fair. That's he's, not fair. He's thing. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Uh -huh. Dwayne the uh -huh. Go to the opposite side. There you go. You smart. You smart. You loyal. Another one. Oh god. 
You oh! suck it! Chris, you haven't said it yet, dude. You haven't said it, dude. Well, because it hasn't happened. It's well, happened a million times. What are we talking about? <laughs> the special John. Base. I gave him. Okay, something. literally, I today at work, I was approached by a drug dealer, like, and this guy, like, had these weird bubbles all over his head, like they were really small. Like, I, I don't know what the heck is going on. It's like someone boiled him on a frying pan. Okay. Kunebu. Okay, anyways, Kuh? continue. Kuenbu? Kuenbu. Kuenbu. And, uh, um, he, so he, he drives up to my car, my, my work truck, and I'm just about to get into my work truck to leave, and he's like, he honks his horn a little bit, and then I go over to the window, and he's freaking, his, first of all, I think the guy had jaundice, because his eyes were pure yellow. And then he had the bubbles all over his skin, and he was like, do you know where blah, 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 and the roads, the road that he wanted to find is called Stella? And he was like, do you know where blah, 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 Straya is? And I was like, what? I never heard that name. So I was like, what? What? And so I look at his phone and it says Stella on it. I was like, oh, blah, 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 Stella. And I point him out. But I'm pretty sure that that house that he was trying to go to was a, probably like a crack house or something. It's a, a lab. Crack house. It's a meth lab. Or a meth crack. A butt crack house. Nazis love meth. You know what's funny? When it, next time you see someone's uh, someone's butt crack... You go, hey, I think you need a new butt. That one has a crack in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's so good. I you know, you know what you do when you see a bald guy with folds on no! the back of his head? I have to die. I'm sorry. Chris? Uh, folds? What, back fat? No, on the back of his like, neck or head. Oh, what do you call him? You say, hey, sir, will that be credit or debit? And then you swipe your card in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's dangerous. <laughs> that's just living on the edge. Of glory! I'm gonna open up this image on Imager. Imager. Imager? Do, you guys, do you guys think space is round or flat? Round? No, I have to die again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Game over. You guys gotta help me out on this, this stage. This picture won't load for the life of me. There's two items we have to get here. You have to help me out, dude. Yeah, to help me out, dude. Oh yeah. yeah answer says, or say no to crack. <laughs> Did you see the booty crack? Say oh, yes go. to mushrooms, but all right. Only let's in address a good the elephant in the room. Mind. Why do a good portion of SJW types have fish mouth syndrome? <laughs> Wait, this is the picture. Look at their mouths. Oh my god, dude. I what? think it's a genetic thing, dude. Genetics go along with. Oh, that's called fish mouth. Uh, <laughs> This is hilarious, uh, dude. Uh, that's This awesome. is such a clear, like, trait. That's hilarious. I, I wonder if there's a connection. <laughs> they all went to I wonder movie. if there's a connection between blue-haired girls and Tumblr users. Alright. Dude, I think that blue hair looks good on okay. women. But it just sucks that the blue hair is tied to the <gasps> feminist-ish. <laughs> women. Feminist-ish. The, the feminist-ish. Feminist-ish. I broke my feminist -ish. <laughs> When I was a kid, by the way, growing up with like, you know, Marcus, we were like 12, 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say gay literally for everything. Yeah. We like, uh, my mom would be like, let's go to Burger King. But like, that's gay. Let's go to McDonald's. They don't have gay burgers there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I would say it for everything. That game is gay. The, you, why do you have to jump over this? This is so gay. <laughs> I would do that too when I was a kid. And then I like I, I started to realize that it was not okay to say that. Like, you see, I, I actually know someone who who is gay and doesn't care though. Dude, so, like, most people who are like it, they shouldn't them. care though. That's the thing. Like, like I know. Let's see. I'm, no, no. I'm friends with a gay dude, guy and then a lesbian okay. girl. So like, the, the, like I say gay crap. Like I'm like, this is gay. Dude, if like, someone was to call me a salchicha, I wouldn't care. What does that mean? What is that? Sausage. Oh. Because I'm Italian. <laughs> why, would know, why would I know that? I would call you spaghetti. <laughs> you know, oh, um, another, I don't thing, care about that, another thing that Bill Burr was That's saying was it. that there's what, a... spaghetti? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Uh, answer says, yeah, I had a habit of saying that too. My brother-in-law is gay. He doesn't care either. Yeah, and they and they shouldn't care. There was a... Uh, so Bill Burr got an email from a guy that he's an Italian, like 100% Sicilian. So like he's got that, hey, oh, whatever. Pots, pasta bowl, <laughs> however you, you Italians Scusi. behave. Scusi. And so, uh, there was a woman at the job that would actually call him and his friends, like, very derogatory Italian things. And so, like, one day she didn't have salad dressing, like Italian <laughs> salad dressing on her salad. 
And he's like, hey, Johnny, can you come over here and squeeze your hair over my salad? <laughs> I need some more dressing. Like, And it's like very offensive stuff like that. That's and, funny. Dude. No, it is funny. <laughs> And a vet, for some reason, this guy was complaining about it. I don't know. Bill Burr was just telling him to, like, toughen up a bit. Dude, if I let this guy get the things around him, they're like, he has, like, little hamburgers around him. <laughs> I'm they're supposed to be miniature stingrays. Oh, they look like gay burgers from Bur yeah, what, gay what, Burger King. So gay. Burger gay? Freaking gay Burger, burger King. Bing. Freaking cuck libtard. I would get this oh game. God. I would get a game. Does like Chris even know what that means? <laughs> yeah, Chris says it all the time. I don't know what it means. <laughs> oh my god, Chris. What does it mean, Matthew? It, it's like a dude who intentionally has his wife sleep with other men while they're in the room and they there it watch. Is. I have to stop. That's what that is, Chris. Oh, that's what cuck means? Yes. <laughs> that's oh, hot. Oh, well. It's a good thing that every single time a Republican was insulting a Democrat in a freaking political article, they'd call him a cuck. Yeah, they do. And so I was always like, why the frick? This see, is obviously, see, this see has the... to be a political term. Let's do it, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's Jet Steam oh, dude, by, oh, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna play a video out loud for you guys. Um, uh, you know Sonic, Sammy Classic Sonic fan? No. The little kid that goes, what the frick? Freaking fricks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I found, he, he deleted his channel a long time ago, and he's now 19 and in college. So he, he's been trying to, like, detach himself from that past of his YouTube channel. And he, there's people that re-upload all of his episodes, and I found <laughs> this one episode where he's playing Sonic Adventures 1, and there's one portion I gotta show you guys, I'm gonna look for it. Okay, so in order for you to understand why this part is funny, you have to read the top comment first. Oh, let me, uh, I'll read it out loud for the stream. So the, the top comment reads, <clears throat> at, it's a timestamp plus a bunch of words, so it says, at 2.44, Sounds like Sammy was having sex and then he remembered he forgot to put on a condom. <laughs> okay? And so this is the thing, that, this is the part of him doing that. So, get to the checkpoint. Let's get started! Oh, fucking yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I love this kid, man. Yeah, uh, one more time, one more time for this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and so the top comment fits in perfectly, dude. Oh my god. That's really funny. I, I, oh. Oh. I love that. Dude, what am I doing? Oh my what god. What are you doing? You suck. Dude, you want to <laughs> <you wanna> try? <laughs> you suck. You want to try this? suck, dude. What the frick? What the frick? <laughs> you freaking fricks. <laughs> the answer says LOL and then he says ha ha ha. I, I love Sammy Classic Sonic fan. Like, when I'm, when I'm really like, when something crappy <clears throat> at work happened where like, I had to go dig out a really dirty like meter box and stuff or fix a leak that sucked i'm just like okay i gotta play a sammy classic sonic fan video <laughs> and then it cheers me up instantly dude dude i've been listening to a lot of science videos on my drives down to phoenix and they've been great absolutely uh, wah buffet wah buffet <laughs> that was a yawn from Frankie you guys never yawn like not that? a yelp from a dog that's injured <laughs> 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 Alright, check us out. Ready? Bam. Big jump. Big, Woo! big schwamp. Oh, it's a yeah. yeah. React fast. How the frim frim did that? You need to react. Teens react. Teens react. Uh, 2017 Choice Awards. Uh, Do you guys know what song he's playing? I'm playing, I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. What song is that? I never <laughs> heard of this song. What Teens he react. <laughs> 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 and scene. <laughs> Take me. Oh yeah, I remember my parents listened to this. They were 16 when they had me. I, I heard this on the freaking CD player. Remember those stupid things? Freaking, I have 9,000 songs on my Zune. I have like right, 350 on my spot. What the fetch? Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna die. No, we're gonna do this, dude. Remember when Frankie thought Zunes were cool? 
I had the big Zune, and it always looked like <laughs> I, I had like a that. freaking tumor what? in my pocket. What? Frankie was a Zune guy. Well, Matthew, you what were is like, Zune? It was a. Bi- it was basically the biggest iPod you've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> but it, it held like <laughs> it was. It was uh, the competitor to Apple's product. It had sixty gigs though, and that was unheard of for an Apple product. Was it, had, it the Zune made by MySpace creator guy? I don't know. I but, can't remember. It was like, did he go to court? The thing, okay, here's the thing about the Zoom. It had better audio quality, like way better audio quality, quality than the iPods at that time. And um, that was it. Oh, it also had like hey, every you idiot, single dude. time. It also had like 60 gigs. So like, and iPods only had... <coughs> oh. <coughs> iPods only have like five gigs. So what is happening? <laughs> it's happening. But yeah, Let the so, like, it was like you could either pay three hundred dollars for five gigs on like a little Apple product that has shit sound quality, or you could pay one hundred dollars for sixty gigs on something that you had to squeeze in your pocket and couldn't lift your leg once you got it in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one time I managed to to squeeze a CD oh player my in my gosh. pocket. I missed him. And you know, I was so unpopular in school that the that my classmates were like, "He's got his CD player in his pocket." Okay. Now, earlier than bet the jump, bet- yeah. You thought, dude. You're about to die. You freaking thought. Not dude. anymore. You're a thought. Check this out. I'm gonna punch through it. Bam! Look at the arm. Sick. Fucking nasty. Do you do that on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cool. <laughs> so cool, dude. One more try, and then I'll let you try, Chris. How about that? Oh yeah. One more try after my one more try. One more try. One, one more after one that. One more. Honestly, guys. That was how I would play with Marcus, and then Marcus would be like, Ugh! Oh! I- I'm supposed to play! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a current meme, it's like, uh, Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> yeah, I, and it, is it the one with the standing up cat? Clean, clean. The Trump administration will oh. continue to be the cleanest. We need clean. We want clean. He wants clean. We want clean. I want clean. He Ooh. wants clean. We want clean. Look, I want clean. And we do want. We want clean. I want clean. And we want clean. You know what? I want clean. Everybody agrees. We want clean. That's what I want. Clean. The cleanest ever. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. I want a clean. Uh. Clean. We're gonna have the cleanest. What the frick? I've seen this one. China. China. Isn't that harder than me in the morning, dude? China. 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 China, 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 let me play a 13 minute video for you on the podcast. <laughs> of Donald Trump saying, China, China, China. Big That's wrong. so Raven. It's the future. I can't see me. What the frick? <laughs> Yeah, that's your best bet. Honestly. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Nice, uh, Chris. Get it dodged. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> 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 it was only funny because you said that after. Oh, it just says, "Wait, I want to hear about China." <laughs> that was like well, that, that was half the video and like already off one hundred Chinas. <laughs> you know that you can't. Okay, if. Uh, so what I'm saying is that if let's say that a white man had a mullet that was in dreads, mm-hmm. is that still cultural appropriation? Heineken, Yaku. Somebody commented on my status when I posted that. I posted the status that said, "If a white man wore dreads, but it was in the shape of a mullet, is it still cultural appropriation?" Mm-hmm. And somebody was like, "Um, somebody was like, white man uh can't culturally appropriate because white man made every race except for Australians they grew on their own oh I, I saw that <laughs> and I was like um what sir please and uh he was like he was like when Adam and Eve what do you think you're doing um had their first oh my baby. god what? did you hear this the, the colonel guy over here was like what do you think you're doing 
What, what is this plot? They're they're angry at one another because someone stole his last ego waffle. <laughs> Not my last ego waffle. Took it. I didn't take it. <laughs> you didn't take it. You son of a bitch. Stop. I didn't take it. Oh. <laughs> You you I took the ego waffle. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was me all along. Oh my God, Iris, how could you? <laughs> you piece of shit. I'm freaking giving zero. You it, it, it wasn't my fault. No, you guys no. hash it out. I'm leaving. Oh my God, he left me. Bye. Zero, please don't fight with my brother. If you do, I'm afraid that's her brother. I thought that was her papa. Okay, they're 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 brother and sister apparently. What are they even fighting about? This is the new role right here. Zero. No, it's not. This is oh, Aaliyah yeah. is the new oh, role. Yeah, yeah. Zero. She was a temporary character. They were like, "This girl's lame." Left her out. Oh, Zero. Geo showed up. He says, "What's up, dudes? How's What's it going, going, dude? How's it going? We're playing a classic." Go hey, Chris, up, how about how about how can turn off that light? What light? The freaking car. Oh, Zero doesn't oh, have. Oh, is it open? Is it open? The car should be unlocked. Mom doesn't lock it. Don't tell the people in the stream that. Night. No one knows we're in the garage. No, they know our secret now, dude. Hey, Gio. Everyone knows I record in the garage. Give us a topic to talk about because we've been at it for a while, and they don't want to hear. I don't about like my... having my knees so low. I want to. Uh... Well, there's kids in Africa that don't like that they're starving. But you know what? So get you should over check it. Check your privilege. You should check your white heritage. You freaking tiny. <clears throat> half white heritage. You know it's funny because my skin is brown. But I am not brown. <laughs> I, I, it's because I tan super easily. And, and also when because I was you're born, outside a lot. And when I was born, I was pure as the whitest can be. And I can tan. So it's the best of both worlds. If I need to go in undercover in a white society, I just stay in the moonlight for a long time. And then if I need to go undercover in the Metro Center Mall, I just go outside for a little while. <laughs> and then I can blend into the role that I am assigned. Yeah, and then Esther says, What's up, Gia? And he says, Yeah, and people in hell yeah, want right. ice water. Yeah, Matthew. Hey, the one fake construct that I don't believe in, really. What is it? <laughs> hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell is a funny, funny uh, concept. Although I wouldn't doubt the existence of, like, lower frequency dimensions, but I don't think... Do you know that Christianity is the first religion ever to make hell a permanent place, along with Islam? Oh, did you know that? Do you guys know who Patrice O'Neill is? And I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a video. And then Anzer says, "And was the largest organization to control their masses. I mean, believe in God." LOL. Yeah, Anzer. On the right side of history. Do you, you, know, you know, we're really limiting our followers by. I don't give a fudge, dude. I don't give a huh. You know what's funny is like after like when I first started this YouTube channel three years ago, or however freaking long ago it was, I was like so hopeful. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find this massive following of people that like my content, blah, blah, blah. I have given up entirely on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't care what I say here, because like I know I'm not gaining subs. And when I do get a new subscriber, I'm like, whoa! And then like I don't get any comments from the new subscriber. I'm like, okay, this guy's just... Can I make him not subscribe? Can I block this guy's account? I'm For sure you could. Douche. But I don't know why you would. I mean, there's always well, the Well, you freaks can just leave my channel. Yeah. Why aren't you freaking haters? Get off my channel right now! You can't do it because you don't have a squeaky, premature voice. That time's past, Chris. My voice is deep and sweet. Chris's voice was always deep right when he came out the womb. I made I mean, my brother. girl tell me the end of a story first. Before I invest any more time into listening to the rest of it. You wanna hear what happened to me today? No, what happened? Somebody got shot. All right, go ahead, try to tell the story. <laughs> Starts off wrong. You know my friend Diane, right? I mess up, I go, uh, nah, I don't know Diane. You know Diane. 
Now I gotta tell you an hour and a half side story about who Diane is. Cause I can't keep going with the story till you know who Diane is. Remember three years ago I made you go to a party that you didn't want to go to? Or was it two years ago? Wait a minute, was it two years ago I made you go to a party? That was three years ago I made you go to And remember I introduced you to a bunch of women you didn't care about? One of them was Diane. You remember now? Don't do this. Uh, yeah, 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 I remember. You don't remember, you're just saying that. <laughs> so I can tell the story faster. But why don't you tell the story faster? Who got shot? Did Diane get shot? She didn't get shot? Did she shoot somebody? She didn't shoot? Why'd you say Diane? Cause she don't like guns. Why would you say that? <laughs> Finish the story. Who got shot? Never mind now. You won't let me tell the story. Man. I won't tell the story. So I won't finish because you won't let me tell it with Diane, my friend who doesn't like guns. It's dirt. <laughs> Men want to be alone. But we don't want to be by ourselves. It's so Does that true. Make sense true. At all? Meaning, really, look at this guy looking at his wife like, not you, sweetie, but sort of you, kind of. <laughs> we, we want you uh, somewhere, like, in the dwelling, just not here, like, just like around the corner, in the vents. You can sit in the vent, I don't care <laughs> if you want to watch me, but in the bay, on the roof, anywhere, but just not in front of me trying to be my friend. What you doing? What you doing? Watching baseball? Why are you watching baseball by yourself? I want to watch baseball with you. What you doing? Why are you, why are you, why are you down there by yourself? Move over. Move your leg off that ottoman where it's comfortable so I can sit next to you and wrap my leg around your leg and some weird <laughs> I love you uh, hot <laughs> vine. Move over. Give me your arm. Give me your arm. Give it to me. Let me give it. Come here. Give me a kiss. Mean it. Mean the kiss. <laughs> you love me? Say it. Say it. Mean it. What you doing? You love me? What you eating? A hamburger? You shouldn't be eating a hamburger at 11. It's too early to eat a hamburger. Let me go make you a better sandwich, a, a turkey sandwich on 47 grain bread with no mayonnaise <laughs> and, and bean sprouts. Tastes like red turds and, and twigs. Ain't that better? Ain't that better? A dry sandwich you don't want? Ain't that better? <laughs> Why is the TV so loud? Well, turn it down. Ain't that better? Can't hear the TV? Got a dry sandwich you don't want? Ain't that better? <laughs> Why is it so cold in here? Turn it. Why is the ceiling fan and the air conditioner? Turn it off. Ain't that better? Sweating, wrapped up into a hot vine, can't hear the TV, got a dry sandwich. Ain't that better? Why is it so dark in here? Let some sunlight in. Ain't that better? Can't see the TV, can't hear it. Hey, I gotta go, man. Y'all take care. That, that, that ending part reminds me of mom. Actually, all of that reminds me of your mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's our here's our crap sandwich. <laughs> yeah, turn the TV down. It's too loud. It's too loud. It's too cold in here. Ain't that better? <laughs> Moo, she was like, I had my laptop on the on the uh, like part of the sofa that like literally no one sits on, and she goes, move this, and she just moved it on the floor right next to the part that no one sits on. And I was like, <laughs> this is not. My mom does so many like strange things, dude. I don't understand. Sometimes I think she just has to move things around. Yeah, I feel like she has to be, she's a busybody. Yeah. Like, just has to clean something, has to organize something. Yeah. I don't know how my dad really, like, deals with that. <laughs> he just locks himself in his room. Sometimes I, sometimes he just laughs at it. <laughs> yeah. He got, her, he got her to drink tonight, that was pretty crazy. It's funny, because, like, my dad will crack up whenever I make fun of something my mom says. The hot dog lands in the bun. And then, it eats, it's so good. Wow. And that's when it just... My content is at an all-time high. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Matthew comes. And you know, now you wonder why I want to start over on my YouTube channel. Just erase every video, call my new channel name, 
extreme edge lord. Hey Chris, you know what I was thinking about the other day, dude? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be nice? What if like, like let's just say that you had some fans and they were like, you know, I really like when Frankie's on the stream. Like, let's yeah. Just, or they're like, I really like when Marcus is on the stream. We're like, I really like when Matthew's on the stream. No one likes me. No, everyone likes you, dude. Okay. What about um, the story? I, I was thinking maybe you could put like featuring, and then the person that is in the stream. I write that in the description. Yeah. But no like, one looks at that. Crap. No one's like, I wonder who's here. Let me click on it. Use some more of my data. Oh my god, my pure data. Oh my god, my, my pure data. Wait, you're talking about the title? Like, make a long paragraph title? Like, no, no, just, just in parentheses featuring Frankie, featuring Marcus. Yeah, featuring I know Berg. the title's already long as F anyways, because now I started writing titles that talk about what is in the video. Why would you do that? Because if it's podcast number 47, that doesn't... It's not attractive. How about instead, you just put Mega Man X4 featuring Frankie and Burger? Wow, that's an attractive title. I've been in this game for five years. What have you what, cared what, about, viewers? What do the fans think? Listen, we got two people here. Tell us what you think. In yeah, the... title is just Mega Man X4, not nothing about what's in the podcast. And just well, because... how does how does the number of the podcast tell anything? It doesn't. That's why I don't put it in anymore. I don't write podcast number eleven. But we are the thing that are in the podcast. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the podcast. I know, and the moment they freaking click on the video, you're like, Hey! <laughs> it's Rick Frankie! But what if they really just want to know which one to click on to hear me moan? They don't want to hear me talk. Maddie, listen. First I think we all, gotta get some okay, stuff If you guys were as popular as, like, Markiplier, mm -hmm. I would put featuring Frankie. We are as popular as Markiplier, dude. Uh, literally, I have not gotten one comment that was like, Hey, uh, where did Frankie? Where was Frankie here in this podcast? Like, where was Marcus here? I know it hurts, Frankie. No, you have. <laughs> I have not actually. Have. Oh, that's the weakness. Wow, that makes it easy. Uh, Geo says, "I like when Matthew and Frankie are in the stream." That's because Geo's a freaking beast. Yeah, Geo. Don't you think that it would be nice to say featuring? It's not a secret though. It's not like I tucked you away in the no, video. No, no, but I was looking at your videos and I was like, I have no idea which ones I'm in. Well, actually, I do know because I was in them, but. Uh huh. I'm just saying that, like, nobody else knows. They will if they click that description. Wah, 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 I farted. Featuring Frankie, big exclamation points, emoji face. Heh. Now Matthew, they're gonna they click say. on it. As like far as I know, I've been talking about every comment that I've been seeing because we. We are appreciative of the audience, and sir, trust me, Frankie over here would be dead right now if it wasn't for you guys. Oh my god, dude, I would freaking curl up in a ball and start philosophizing. Where did Ben go? It's like we stopped playing Zelda and all of a sudden he, he hates okay, us look, people. Uh, the thing about Ben <laughs> is like, if it were up to me, I would hang out with Ben a lot more often. But Ben is very selective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's into the anime girls, you know what I'm saying, dude? I He's got this crush on this girl, and it is like the most obvious god dang thing in the world on what Twitter. Girl? Uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm not gonna say the name, I don't want to name drop. Dude, is it Corrin? <laughs> Big boob goth G. Is it, is it an anime girl? Uh, no, but she's an artist, and he he's consistently talking with her on there, and I guarantee you he's he's got a crush on her. Yeah, yeah. but the thing is, is it reciprocated? Big fat little chub. I, I don't know. And Ezra says, <laughs> Twitch makes it near impossible to chat in real time. And then Ezra says, I know who it is. Yeah, Ezra, I think you know who it is. And I'm pretty sure I think I know who it is as well. And uh, so I'm pretty sure uh, Ben is, you know, he's pining for some of that poon tang. And so <laughs> he doesn't want to hang out with me. I'm a freaking... Uh, first of all, I'm like five years older than the guy. And also, you can't stick your penis in another penis. Exactly. That's a big problem. Trust me. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I know these things. Trust me. <laughs> oh man, we have fun. We're uh, gonna... And then uh, okay. Geo says you could put feet, uh, feet, because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess I could just to appease Frankie's dumbo head. Literally, the only reason that you said that was because someone else that wasn't me said it. I could say something. This is so funny because I could do this for like, the only person that is the exception is Matthew. Mm -hmm. If I did this to you or Marcus, you, <laughs> like I could say something and be like, dude, let's do this or something like that. And you guys would be like, no, dude. And then somebody else says it and you guys are like, yeah, it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea though. I still think it's a stupid idea because I, uh, trust me, I've tried 
making videos that are number 47, number 48. And like that doesn't help. And then episode one, episode two, that doesn't work either. And then I've tried doing. Dude, but number nobody cares about numbers if they like the people that are in the stream. Then they're gonna be like, oh yeah, these people are sick. I want to watch. But it. it's about attracting a new audience. That's the thing. Chris, you just said earlier that you don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Uh, you know, but like subconsciously, I do want to grow as a channel because if I did somehow become super famous, like that'd be amazing. But I've I've been trying for so long that. I've given up essentially, you know what I mean? But if it happens, then it happens. But if it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily matter. But I already know the things that don't work, you know what I mean? Because I've tried them. Oh, uh, and uh, Geo's leaving. I gotta see you later, dudes. All right, Geo, thanks for tuning in, dude. And then Esther wrote, Toon Tang. We're saying, we're saying Poon with a P. I got an answering Wow. And to be quite honest, like, how many times have you ever tried putting featuring in your video? It would matter if the name mattered. Is the thing. The name matters. I'm I... just kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> but like, the thing is that like, for the fans that you already have, they know. The fans that I already have, we're gonna click on that video hopefully regardless anyway. What if they weren't? What if? What if they? What if the thing that made them click on the video was Marcus's laugh? They just love his little laugh. Uh, then someone might have already commented that. If, the, if he was in the video, but I didn't signify that he was in it in the description or title. Someone would be like, It would have been nice to know that Marcus was here. But trust me, dog. Your, your amateur level YouTube status? Shut up. Man. I've been doing this for so long. Oh, yeah. So long. Uh, answer says, I know you are. Oh, but Toon applies here. Ah, Toon... Toonish. Toon Tang applies here. Alright, give me, give me two female uh fictional characters and i'm gonna pick one to date we all oh, have to one, pick one, one, to date. one more second answer says you always want your channel to grow but you can't be who you aren't or pander to people yeah frankie start your own goddamn channel <laughs> i hate you <laughs> <laughs> so what about pick two characters and say which one you're gonna marry? okay two two characters which one you're gonna date eh. let's hear it from the the audience too oh yeah Okay, answer says Wonder Woman. Okay, so we'll make Wonder Woman one of them. So manly. Wonder Woman or Hawk Girl? Uh, Wonder Woman, definitely. Wonder Woman, okay. Although it'd have to climb up her leg. She's so tall. <laughs> oh, answer says Linda Carter or Gal Gadot? Uh, Linda Carter, who's that? All right, oh, Miss yeah, he did say the original Wonder Woman. And then he also says, or Melina from MK. Oh, yeah, my. no. Melina or Katana? <laughs> Well, no, no, let's say, how about Melina or another, like, equally Baraka. woman? <laughs> Baraka Obama. Baraka Obama. This boss is impossible. Why are we oh. still playing? I don't know what happened. <laughs> you guys just kept talking. I just Yeah, kept I guess that's, we kind of kept on going there. This, there was a game on N64 that was, like, balls like that, and you had to do certain things to him. And wow. I can never remember. You had to hit the balls? <laughs> you had to do certain things with his balls. You know? Oh my god, dude. That reminds me. When I was a, when I was a kid, remember how, like, Sony had to... They used to pass out, like, uh, demo discs? Like, you'd get a yeah. magazine and there'd be a demo disc in it. And it would have a bunch of demos for all these, all these games. There was a game I had a demo for called Intelligence Cube. Or Intelligent Cube. Have you heard of that game? No. Enster, have you heard of a game called Intelligent Cube on the PlayStation 1? Oh my god, he says, uh, uh, Sheena. Was it, was it Sheena, or? Oh, I think he means Shiva. From Mortal Kombat. Melina or Shiva? Do you know who Shiva is? Ah. Yeah. Goro, the female Goro? You're making this really hard this right now. This is very difficult. And I'm not talking about the good kind of hard. <laughs> Answer says negative. Oh, he doesn't know about it either. I would love to find that demo disc and play that game on here. Because it's like a puzzle game, and it's, it's a Dude, pretty decently challenging puzzle game. Do you want to try this? Me? This boss is I got sad. it. Let me do this freaking... Alright, Misty or May? May. Answer says, yeah, Shiva. May in a heartbeat, really? Mm -hmm. Why? Who's May? I just think May's cooler. Um, I think that it's hard because Misty's kind of a... Uh, Misty's kind of a B-word. But she's also a redhead. <laughs> I'm into those. <laughs> <laughs> what a freaking... What a freaking... What a freaking libtard cuck, dude. Does this ever stop? Nah, you just gotta believe. Believe it. Good job. Whoa! Um. Alright, who else? Let's see. Fetch. Uh, Chi Chi or Bulma? 
Oh, Bulma. Oh, Bulma? God, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Bulma. I, I go Bulma. I would pick Bulma too. She's more relaxed. Chi Chi's annoying. Chi yeah, Chi Chi is annoying. annoying. Um. Both annoying, all right. Android 18 after she becomes a human or Videl. Android 18. Android 18. I think I go Videl. I don't like Videl. She was always so cocky. Until she realized she sucked. All right, Chris. This um, is one that you and I will only get probably. Okay. Alicia or Rosie? From what? From, From what? Here at Chronicles. Uh, Alicia. Oh, really. I don't like Rosie. I mean, I don't hate Rosie, but I don't think I'd want to date Rosie. Oh, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll pick Fire Emblem characters that are in Smash, so we all know them. Okay. Um, Lucina or or female corn. Female corn. Yeah, yeah, same. What about female corn or female Robin? God, this is hard. Oof. Female Robin. Really? Yeah. Dang. I go female. I think I go female corn. Oh, Geo's back, and I'm back. Just eight. Dang, Geo, you eat fast. Dang, Geo, you could have ate and watched us at the same time, and we would have <laughs> helped you. All right, um, 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 freaking uh, Diddy Kong. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> or Grandpa. <laughs> answer, Kong. answer says fish mouth or Ivanka Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I think fish mouth. I don't. I don't want to go with Ivanka Trump. Maybe but. maybe she's cool and has a fish mouth. We don't know. Uh, I, I Who guess. is Ivanka? Is that the wife? That's Trump's daughter. Oh, Ivanka. Uh, isn't she like attractive or something? Donald yeah, Trump she is attractive, but Donald Trump's daughter, like Donald Trump, wants to bang his own daughter, dude. He's like openly admitted it. Not openly admitted, it, obviously, but like. He's like, I would date my daughter if no one would date her. She's like attractive, I guess, but like at the same time, there's something about her that's a little. Uh... Now, see, I don't necessarily find the fish mouth unattractive. I just don't think, like, if I had to pick between fish mouth and Ivanka, I'd pick fish mouth. All right, Samus or Tifa? Tifa. Tifa uh, all the way, dude. Really? Ooh. Tifa all the way? Samus? No. You don't like blondies, huh? I think it's because Samus, uh, no, Tifa is just like childhood ingrained. Yeah. So like, and also, there's a cutscene towards the end of Final Fantasy VII, and it's in all of its polygon glory, but you see Tifa's Mondo Gazungas, not like- Wait, she's hanging off the cliffside? I don't know where it is exactly, but, oh, what the frick is happening? Oh, you just run. As hard as you can. Nice, dude. You're freaking wrecking the field. Um... Wow, you're much better at this game than I am. <laughs> I try my best- Oh god! I think also I'm just not paying attention to anything. Hey, you have a thing that's that looks like it's a blast. Oh. I'm so scared. Dude, you got it. Go, go, go. Fast. Oh, I don't, don't, don't. You're such a dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Dirty I want to find something out really quick. Okay. Wait, did my blade change to purple? Ivan, Ivan was my blade. Yeah, purple. I think it's part of the upgrade, like one of the boss's powers. It makes it stronger. Uh, answer says Ivanka needs taming. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if she's tameable. And uh, I've heard some comedians make some funny points about yeah. her. That uh, like you know when she's when people go to like big White House meetings or whatever, she's like, and she's at the meeting. Some people will be like questioning, like, hey, why are you even here? You're not in a power position. You don't need to be here. And she's like, I am Ivanka Trump. I am a businesswoman. I, I am smart and intelligent enough to be here. And then whenever there's like a tough decision to be made, she's like, uh, my, can my daddy help me? And it's just like, so, so pick one. Are you, are you Trump's daughter or are you your own independent woman? Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump. And she takes Twilight you Princess think ever done it, dude? Oh, yeah. You, oh, yeah. you do? I don't, actually. <laughs> That'd be just... Oh, well, yeah. Well, if, they're from, oh, if yeah. they're from Tennessee or Alabama, then yeah. They're probably. the only tens I see. I hate you. <laughs> oh, Answer hasn't met her in Breath of the Wild yet, so no spoilers. You haven't met her? Well, in Zelda. In don't you meet her, like, really soon? Wild. No, you don't ever meet her until the end of the game. Mm. Don't but, spoil it! Well, you freaking cut. I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> Mail Hot order. Dirty singles online .org. I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> what do you 
What are you doing? I'm just learning how to cook. Leave me alone. You know that the, <laughs> that show, The Amazing World of Gumball. Yeah. Uh, there was an episode where Gumball walks into this this guy's name's Banana Joe. He's just a banana, but he's watching a video on his computer, and it's an orange being torn in half. <laughs> so it, it's it's supposed to be a joke about how he just got caught watching porn. Oh my god, <laughs> being torn in half. Like, it's like an orange, like, that's being peeled and, like... Oh, like... oh, I see, because it's, like, clothes are being taken off. Yeah. Where do you think the worst place to meet a girl would be? Um, church. Church? Really? A lot of people meet other girls in church. Yeah, yeah I know, but then you're gonna <laughs> marry a Christian. That's, like, the worst <laughs> Marry <thing>. a Christian? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I dated a Christian recently, and, um, she was, like, a crazy Christian, but she wasn't at the same time, because she was... I don't know, her dad kept calling me and telling me to have a relationship with her, meant to have a relationship with Jesus, and it was weird, and I couldn't do it, and I had to lie about the kinds of things we were doing. Holy crap, this is impossible. It wasn't cool. What the f- Hold on, I got this, dude. The worst place to meet a girl. <laughs> the answer says, gay bar. <laughs> and then he says, feminist rally. Oh, man. He's not wrong. Um... The How about school? Freshman dorm. School? What are you talking about? People meet other girls at school all the time. I, you know, one time I went to a bar with Cody, and uh, I did not want to go. Like, I was just... Because I don't like the bar scene. And I was sitting at the bar, completely minding my own business. And I, I can't tell you how many women were staring at me from across the bar. And I was like, what is going on here? I, this is the first time I had ever been to a bar. And I was just like, I don't understand why they're so predatorily looking at me. I was intimidated. It's just offensive. I don't know. I have no uh, idea. G Gio says, LOL. And then answer says, they were like, new meat. Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty intimidating because like these women would not stop staring. I was like, <laughs> new meat. Because uh, like I was just sitting there. I didn't even order a drink because I don't drink alcohol. And uh, freaking... They just kept on staring, and I mean, it was a little flattering, sure, obviously, but I was just like, what the frick, dude, this is not, I can't take these girls home to mama. What would mama think? They're not holy. Yeah. It would this, be guy, this is so funny, dude. This girl always posts, like, these SJW posts, and, like, the same three people comment on them, and, like, like, m make sarcastic posts, and they're like, whatever would I do without this information? And this one guy who doesn't even have a picture of himself, it's a picture of a cat, like, always, like, gets so offended and, like, bashes back at them. And this guy named Pete just calls him a dumb dumb head now. He's like, he's like, what do you say? Dumb dumb head? Yeah, he just calls him a dumb dumb head. He's like, you're a dumb dumb head. Hope your company expedites that flight, uh, gets the fuck out. I don't even know what they're talking about, but he always calls him a dumb dumb head. I hate this boss so much. He's the loudest. Dude, this boss. I got this, dude. I got. I'm in the groove. Okay. Uh, you're not meant to take home. They're meant to take to your car, wiggle stuff for a little bit, then go home. Y you know what? Like as a when I was growing up, like that was never how I perceived meeting girls. Like I never thought that that was even an option on what? the table. Like being able to just get a girl one night stand and then just. They don't care. That's what most of my love life is. I, 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 but I had never grown up with that perception. So, like, I had never thought that, oh, this is so... I, I always thought that when you meet a girl and you kind of, like, start doing intimate things that you now have to be in a relationship yeah, with Yeah, I thought that for a second, too. But then I realized a lot about love and how shitty it is. <laughs> <laughs> how it's only real when it's convenient. How mm -hmm. they always leave you. Dude, honestly, like, I was talking with my friend about it. My friend's like... Do you have to like really like really love someone to have sex with them and does it just feel wrong? And I'm like, what's the difference between if you have a one night stand or a nine month relationship and they never talk to you again? And he was like, wow, Heather really fucked you up, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, she did it. Yeah, she did. Not really though, I just observed and I was like, eh. I hate you. I'll wait till I'm 30. <laughs> ah! Why are those arrows so fast? Yeah. I, I can do this, Frankie. Okay, one more try and then I'm going to try. Okay. <laughs> Answer says, who hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> well, her name was Heather and we were in a nine-month relationship and it was the first relationship I ever had which made the nine months a lot more significant and she went overseas to study abroad and she met a guy in a park bench and I never heard from her again. You know what? What? 
I, while that not while the nine months is is you know definitely not something to bat your eyelash at, try four years. No, I I get what you're saying. You know. Yeah, definitely. But I don't know. Like, it was weird because I associated a lot. Like, I don't know. How to we talked about it in our last podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the same time, it wasn't necessarily Heather. It was that like after the relationship, I s- tried to study relationships. Like I tried to ask people, you know, because I'm a philosopher. And so I try to like ask I'm people. I'm a philosopher. I, I, I try to ask people like what you know they experienced through their relationships and stuff. And um, I follow people on Instagram that I had like surveyed basically, um, and they all broke up and like they were all in new relationships over and over again. And I watched it happen, and I was like, dude, I was like, what is this, dude? People, what the fuck? People just seem to like date people because it's convenient for like the time being, and then all of a sudden like it means nothing. And I'm like, I don't really care to do that you know what i mean i like i enjoy moments with people and i express that to people i'm like if we're gonna hang out and get intimate like let's like really you know have a good time and like know each other really well and like go on a hike or like go whatever and if we decide to get intimate then like let's enjoy it and not have it be just like this one night stand but i also can't commit myself to you because i know that it's probably very unlikely that it's gonna work out and i got a company to run and then Esther says, yeah, I'd kill for a nine-month relationship right now, lol. And then Gio says, that's a quote. Uh, nine months is definitely, like, it's 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 light time. Me and, me and Esther were experienced. We're seasoned veterans, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think that, like, with your first love, though, it's, it's a lot more uh, intense. I'm sure that if I ever had a breakup again, no matter how much I love them, I'd be in a lot better position oh, to deal yes. with it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and I recognize that. It's just that, like, it's a lot of work, dude. Like, to be in a relationship, like, it's a lot of work. Yeah, definitely. It's really, really emotionally and physically demanding of you. And I just don't, I freaking, I have two companies, dude. That's the most, that's the most intense I can be with my emotions, <laughs> if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what try. the fudge? <laughs> All right, this is it, dude. I don't know I would expect told. you to beat this boss at zero. I don't know. Just dude. slash him and run away perfectly. <laughs> and she says, "Well, yeah, that's the that uh, the first cut is always the deepest." Yeah, that first cut, dude. That first cut lasted a long time, dude. I was so angry after my first breakup, like the first serious breakup. What the? F- Those things go faster than you. Exactly, they're faster than you, and they're way homing, and they linger where they land. But yeah, that first breakup. For three solid months, I worked out so hard. Harder than I'd ever worked out in my life. I turned all of that rage into workout fuel. Remember how I got super skinny? Yeah. Not super skinny, but like the skinniest I'd ever been. Yeah. That was because of that. And uh, while it felt good to be like attractive for a little while. <laughs> um, are they going faster? Yes, they are. Oh, no, not faster than last time, but it's always this. There's no way to counter it because you can't even blow those up. But yeah, I was actually pretty stubby looking. And uh, I remember actually one time, it was around Christmas, and I went to the grocery store. There was the like these three girls walking to the store, like, across from me. And whoa, whoa. they were like, Merry Christmas to you! Merry Christmas to you! Like, just shouting to random people walking towards the grocery store. And then she goes, and especially Merry Christmas to you. To me. <laughs> and like, I, that had never happened to me before. And I was like, whoa, this feels nice. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, I've been kind of having fun, like, with, like, there's a few girls that, like, I spend time with as friends, but I'm also very intimate with whenever, like, we feel like it, and it's kind of a fun thing we got going on with me and eight girls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Eight it's not girl? eight girls, not eight girls, but I was just making a joke. Oh. But there's a few girls that are like that. The problem is that they all, actually, it's not really an issue. None of them live in Flagstaff, which is great. They all live away. So like when they come into town, we hang out and we have a good time and then they leave and we go our separate ways and we live our real lives. We're like the life distractions for each other, but it's great. I love it. Mm. Mm. This freaking dirty ass hooker peacock, dude. Answer says friends with benefits. Ben's with friend of fits, you mean. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. It's not Should even... I try this crap? No, I got this. Trust dude. me. Trust me, Matthew. <laughs> we'll be here all night. You freaking... Fricks! Here's the fun part. I'm better at this part. No, dude. Watch this. Oh! Got the loop-de-loop, huh? It's over. Not over yet, because I said so. Oh! Oh! Ho! 
Oh, you're feeling it. Oh, he's going for round two! Cash slinging slasher! Yeah, look yeah, at the leg yeah, break! Yeah, 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 suck! Oh my god, I'm a peacock! On it. <laughs> I know! Oh my god, that was frustrating, dude. That was like the equivalent of Sigma. Okay, and so it says the danger is falling for them. Because that is all on the table, you know that, right? Yeah, whatever happens, happens. That happened with Haley. Mm. She made it through all right. I'm not really concerned about myself, honestly. Like, I, I'm more concerned. Well, you might run into a crazy girl and freaking stab you in the middle of the night, dude. Yeah, dude. It, that would have been Haley if it was anybody. <laughs> honestly. Oh, now you got the Giga attack. Did I? Is this what it's I kind of just want to see what... We should probably have saved there. Oh, my God. It's okay. We'll die and save. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, we, wait, we, we, got, we still we, have to fight him? We got one more, dude. Should we do it? No, we shouldn't. This freaking... How long have we been recording for? How long? An hour and 51 minutes. <laughs> dude, we might as well just finish it. And make uh, it two hours. Yeah, let's freaking do that. Split it into two videos, dude. Hey, let's record for two hours and I'm never gonna edit this crap. California girl. Our girl. That's not even... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how That the is how the song goes. No, it's not. Yes, it California is. girls. Mm. They're like real girls, but from California. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Take uh, that over uh, to the Davenport. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that's the Chesterfield. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, does that look like a divan to you? <laughs> Divin Biscave. A Divin Biscave? <laughs> that's from my Dark Cloud playthrough that I know. only Ben watched. <laughs> that was funny. I, I was re-watching that, I was like, that Divin Biscave. I literally went back to my Dark Cloud playthrough, and the first five episodes are the most cringeworthy. Like, what was I thinking? Because like I read with so much infliction on the on the subtitles, because there's no voice acting. Yeah, because you, you try and make it all like interesting. Yeah, but you were being too serious about it. Yeah, so like I sound like a doofus. A douches. <laughs> yeah, tell me about my wiener. And I was always like, whoa. Yeah! And then, like, they would be, like, making, like, exclamation noises, and I'd be, like, actually into it, like, ah! <laughs> ah, man. Answer says, Beach Boys or Miley Cyrus? Alright, dude, we did it. Oh, wait, wait, I can take this up there, and I can fight him in it. Uh, I like Beach Boys' music over Miley Cyrus' music. If we're talking about banging, though, my favorite thing, banging, <laughs> Miley Cyrus. All the way. I came in like a wrecking ball. No, we're talking about Katy Perry. She has a song called. Oh, like, are you kidding me? What the frick? Get on the right side. You ready? You got it. You got it. You got it. Just go for it. Just go balls off. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Now we gotta beat that Sigma. Ah. Let's just save, dude. Okay, we fine. We did it. We'll just save. But yeah, I like the Beach Boys, California Girls. I also like. Uh, what's that song that's like... They I'm always not... die like that. Yeah. Half my legs, one arm, gone. <laughs> Half my legs. I wanted to defeat you. Oh, then, then he, he appeared. appeared. He who? He who. <laughs> he who, he told me. He told me, me he gave me the power. power. Only if I worked for the horse. <laughs> what? I couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, dear. Dragoon! Look at him, he just his opened mouth his opens mouth. Up. <laughs> you got Ryunjin. I don't think that they hired English translators for Zero's chapter. <laughs> up plus SM. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, what button is SM? Oh. Super Mash. Oh. It says, oh my bad. And then I like the song that goes, ah. I love the colorful clothes she wears And the way the sunlight plays upon her hair You know that song? No I hear the sound of a gentle word My god, Frankie! Go to bed! Uh, I just want to go play Pure Glory! We're not, I'm just checking out his new Yeah, power. no, we're done here, friends! Thank you for tuning in, everybody. <laughs> Dude, check this out. Check what this out. What is this? Yeah, it's, Uppy, a short, it's a short you can. Uppy to down smash. That's that's down air, oh, that's maybe. That's California girls. 
No, because that's a different song. That's I wish they all could be cat. That that's a different song from what I was singing. Oh, I know something. California Girls by Katy Perry. Bam. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning what in. The, what the freak do I click? Don't click nothing. I got okay. it. Okay. All right. Bye. We love you guys. You Thank you for tuning in, this gentlemen. So Thank you. Magical. All right. I gotta get a freak out of here. Bye bye.